Welcome to the BioBalance HealthCast, Episode 566, Interview with one of Dr. Maupin's favorite BioBalance pellet patients, Marsha Baer. BioBalance HealthCast features conversations about anti-aging medicine. Your host is Dr. Kathy Maupin, Medical Director of BioBalance Health and a leading expert in treating symptoms of aging. Dr. Maupin is the author of The Secret Female Hormone, the seminal work about testosterone replacement therapy for women, and Got Testosterone, the award-winning book for men that helps men choose the most effective and safe form of testosterone replacement. These books are available on Amazon or from Dr. Maupin's office at BioBalance Health in St. Louis and in Kansas City. Dr. Maupin's office is currently accepting new patients. Welcome to the BioBalance HealthCast. I'm Dr. Kathy Maupin, and this is Marsha Bear, one of my very favorite patients. And she's going to tell you how she has, besides her genetics, how she has, looks like this at 65, and feels great, and has really done a good job of having everyone she meets go, you can't possibly be 65. So we are, we're going to talk about pellets and her experience with having uh, hormone pellets with us for a long time. Six so, years. Yes, and Marcia, background-wise, she is a direct descendant of Daniel Boone. She has lived in St. Charles County, uh, which is right next to St. Louis, if you're not from this area. And uh, she has, her whole family has been in St. Charles her whole, her whole life. She is married. She has four children. She has grandchildren. And most impressively, she's a music therapist. And she has changed the teaching practices uh, of music therapy by making sure that in Missouri, she went to D-E-S-E, DESE, mm -hmm. and got music uh, therapy added to the curriculum for uh, special ed kids. As a related service. As a related service. And she ran a company, now she's retired happily, and she and her husband dance and sing. Uh, they have lots of talents. I can't even, I don't have time to explain all of them. But, uh, <laughs> so, um, I think you're going to, you'll just love her when she starts talking, so I'll let you talk. Now tell me how you found BioBalance in the very beginning, because it was quite a while ago. It was quite a while ago. Well, even before I found BioBalance and went through menopause, my mother, old German farm woman, oh, she never did that. <laughs> And everybody said, well, you can, you can do it. And I'm like, okay, I'll tough it out. I'll tough it out. I'll tough it out. And poor John uh, got to a point where he was doing without Ugh. for a couple yeah, of years that's not a popular because thing. there was no libido. And I heard your advertisement on 97.1. Dave Glover. Yeah, mm -hmm. and talked to another woman at a party at one point who said she had come, and I'm like, okay, uncle, I'm coming. Great. That's great. Word of mouth is our, our best advertisement, honestly, although I have a lot of people come and say, oh, I watched your health cast, and um, I've seen all of your health cast, and that would take forever. So <laughs> it's, but it, having hearing from somebody who is a success like you, uh, is is a big motivator for people because it makes them feel like what we do isn't so foreign. What we do is just bringing them back to normal. Right. And then they look at you and they want to be you. So um, one of the things I wanted to have you share with um, our watchers or listeners is what did you feel like in general, not just your sex life, but the other things in your life, what did you feel like before you started pelvis? I gained weight by drinking water. I had worked out my whole life, three, four, five days a week, fairly hard, and nothing helped. It didn't matter. I gained weight. I did not gain muscle. I was depressed. I was watching my mother go through hospice care and getting more depressed. And it was just, oh, there was the joint pain where right. you get out of mm -hmm. bed and like, oh, 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 and I didn't work out yesterday. It just mm -hmm. hurts. So it's, and it all seems to be things that we relate to getting older. Mm -hmm. My skin was going to crap. 
but it's not really getting older, is it? It's really losing your hormones, and that's what makes us feel old. But you are a perfect example of showing people that you don't have to look or feel old as you get years older. So you can be just as healthy as you were in your 30s. And that's a very good example that you set. So you've told me kind of some of the positive things. Tell me how your husband responded to, <laughs> to you should, getting your pellets. I should probably let him because it's better when okay. he tells well, it. Okay, well, you want me to let him tell it? Yeah, he'll you, be should, telling it you next should week. let him tell it. Okay. Okay, so from his point of view, good. <laughs> but I can tell you about when he got his. Okay. Um, because because he referred to my getting the pellets in a special way, we he got his first pellets in early September. And last year? Last yes, year. Mm -hmm. that was last mm -hmm. year. And we did, deemed that from now on the Labor Day miracle. <laughs> <laughs> Let See? it go in. <laughs> That's good. You have your own little private language. So we do. Yeah. No one knows what that really is. 29 years together yeah. will do that. That's right. You. That's right. What a great marriage. Um, have you had any, and I know I know the answer to this, but have, could you tell us about some of the problems that you've had with pellets? Because oftentimes 20 things are better, but then we have to figure out one or two things. So could you explain um, what you have had to go through to... There was probably 30 good. things that were better. Okay. Well, but that good. one thing, as we worked to, I say, reconstitute my uterus from a raisin back into <laughs> a nice peach, mm -hmm. I ha continually have problems with breakthrough bleeding. Right. And we have, and we have gone through everything, and I'm hoping that this last... The last treatment will be the end, you know, and we won't have to deal with anything else. So we have followed ultrasounds. We've done lab work. We have done all the things to figure out why this is happening. And I think I have a handle on it now. I think it's just I'm delicate. Oh, yes, of course. You are. My the, farm, the farm girl hey. is delicate. Hey. <laughs> I have issues, you know. Why do you think I worked with children on the autism spectrum? Okay. I feel their pain. Yes. You're <laughs> I have issues. You're an empath. You feel it. Yes. Well, that makes every... Being an empath and being empathetic to somebody is really a gift. I mean, that is, it's a painful gift sometimes, but it's a gift. And yep. some of the things... Um, could you tell me a little bit about your diet and exercise program? Like I said, I, I had worked out... Um, three, four, five days a week my entire life. Um, I tell people now I, for my workout regime, I have two personal trainers. They come to my home anytime I want. Wow. One is Jillian Michaels. She's on mm -hmm. one DVD and the other one is some <laughs> Jackie chick. She's on another DVD. Oh, good. And they come to my home. I go in my basement and work out. <laughs> and beyond that, we live a half mile off the paved road with mm -hmm. another gravel road off of that. Mm -hmm. I have my private jogging trail. Oh, perfect. Two or three days, I'll do a mile or two mm -hmm. walk jog. I'm not that hard. Yet. Yeah. Well, that's perfect. So you're not hurting your knees. Yeah. Do you, what, do you follow diet, a, a special diet? When I've always been health conscious being raised on the farm mm -hmm. and we had good meat and we had homegrown vegetables mm -hmm. and um, once John started the pellets last September we got into the low carb thing mm -hmm. which I had kind of been leaning to for a while but low carb and low processed foods low processed but you already foods. had kind of a low processed food regime because yeah. if you're on the farm and you're eating what you're growing then that's pretty low carb. Except for once a month, I meet a friend of mine at a restaurant for the world's best pie. You want to tell anybody what the name of that restaurant Cowan's is? Cowan's <laughs> Restaurant in Washington, Missouri. They have German chocolate Woo. pie. Get it out Just, of mode. But you can only have it once a month. Yeah, only once a month. You know? But you can save it, save up your calories. For so that. it's yeah, that's my splurge, and well, there is the Chardonnay. <laughs> that's true. 
That's true. But you know what we tell everybody is once you've gotten down to your weight, you can add back things, not soda. We never add back no. sugar soda or even diet soda if possible. But you can add back wine. You can add back alcohol in moderation. So then you know if it's bothering your weight, you can see it. You can feel it. So that's something that we always kind of preach, and, and since the wine's not bothering your weight and you feel good, it's good and relaxing. And it doesn't seem to be bothering anything else. Right. So because of that, and it's not a huge amount, then that's great. That's fine. So uh, let's see. What else did I want to ask you? Um, what Over the course of time, as you have become your beautiful self, how, tell me what people say about you or to you or how they how they recognize this when they know when they find out how old you are that you're getting Medicare. <laughs> they, most of them just say you can't possibly be that old. Right. Oh, disbelief. Yes. I have papers. <laughs> Here's my driver's license. Yes. Um, oh, that's great. My, you know, my husband and I frequent the wineries out mm -hmm. there, at least frequent twice a month, mm -hmm. and we enjoy dancing. We went once, it was, I think, a, our 26th anniversary, and we were dancing, and of course the band knows us because we see them every time we go, and um, finished the dancing, and this young girl who we'd talked to on and off for the afternoon had to come over there with a bottle of wine. She says, I just want to be what you are. I want to have what you two have. Here, have a bottle of wine on me. <laughs> Isn't that great? That's fab. That is. That's wonderful when people recognize your health and your energy and your positive energy. You're making a lot of difference for them because that kind of rubs off, makes them feel better, which is really nice. So, um, I asked about your marriage, and I know you're going to talk. You're going to talk a little bit about, uh, or you're going to let your husband talk a little bit about this. But I want to know about not just sex, the rest of your marriage. How did this help? I'm talking about communication and and getting along and things. That, like that. was all. Our communication was always very solid. Mm -hmm. um, Good. Yeah, we went through yeah hell to have each other mm -hmm. 30 years ago mm -hmm. and uh, we made sure that was the decision we wanted to make mm -hmm. and talked and talked and talked and talked. Poor guy, it was a way long time before <laughs> that other thing happened. Yeah. Um, so that was always very solid and we were always very loving but after the pellets it's like, oh yeah, that I remember that's how it was for the first 20 years we were mm -hmm. married. Mm -hmm. Now I feel those same things where you, where you get the butterflies in your stomach and mm -hmm. you that's I love that man. Awesome. That's wonderful. And that's a good place to close because that's exactly what we want we would love for all of our patients to be Marsha. <laughs> but uh Marsha works very hard at this and she has she has been persistent in making sure that her, her she has gotten her care, she's gotten her pellets. And when you when you enter into a relationship with a physician in terms of someone who's trying to help you get better and be more be more like you were at 30 than 34. you are at 60, 34. Then <laughs> then uh the doctor makes a commitment to try to help you get back to your healthy self. But you also have to enter into this relationship with a positive attitude to get better, to feel better, to do what we, we ask you to do, which isn't that easy at the beginning, but becomes more of a habit, a good habit as you go along. So the intention of both people in, in a medical relationship is very important. And Marsha has the total attention to get better, be better, and even brought her husband to, to uh, get pellets and be healthy with her. So I think that's very important. And that was one of the things that I did with my husband because it was not pretty when I got better and he was not better. <laughs> 
So, I mean, both members should be having the same um, youthful um, outlook, and it makes the marriage and, and the relationship a lot better. And that's what people are looking for. They're not just looking for, oh, I want to have more energy. Oh, I want to have more sex. They're looking for relationships. Yeah. And, and male-female relationships and other relationships are often based on testosterone, which makes us love each other. <laughs> And we didn't know it was chemical when we were 16, but it was. Anyway, it's still chemical. But we thank you for watching today. And we will be back with John, her husband, next week and talk to him about his experience with uh, BioBalance pellets. Email your questions or comments to podcast at biobalancehealth.com. You can find the BioBalance HealthCast on iTunes and on YouTube. For more information about bioidentical hormone pellet therapy and other reverse aging solutions, visit BioBalanceHealth.com or call 314-993-0963. You can find Dr. Maupin on Twitter at Dr. Kathy Maupin and on Facebook at Facebook.com slash BioBalanceHealth.